Uh, and talking about that experimentation, uh, in uh, Zuluk you had done things with Gloria Anderson, uh, uh, Adrian Belou, and yeah. these are both musicians that really try to go through visuals, through Absolutely, the yes. word, yeah. and through music. Yeah. I yes. was wondering if this kind of curiosity was came into you in your early years when you were studying in the conservatory, where they are so strict. Yeah, but I mean, you know, I escaped from the conservatory pretty, pretty soon, and also uh, at, the, at the same time, I was uh, really work, uh, working with rock bands and also in a, a musical research center. I've always been very interested by uh, research and, and experimentation, and I have a big respect. I really love uh, Laurie. I think she's, uh, she's one of the great, greatest artists in, uh, in America, and by this mixture of visual and sound you were just describing, and also, I think that uh, uh, for me, I mean, I really hesitated for a long time between painting and music. I really see music as painting. I mean, like creating soundscapes where, where the sounds are like colors. And with great with uh, uh, synthesizer. It's like uh, when Fellini, for instance, is, uh, is refusing to shoot the real sea, a real ocean. But he prefers to recreate the ocean with uh, fans and cloth in a studio to evoke the idea of, of, of the sea. It's exactly the same with the synthesizer. The synthesizer is the instrument of the illusion, where you can experiment emotions and feelings, and you can give the, the illusion of, of, the, of, the, of the sound of the sea, or the sound of the, of the wind, the illusion of the symphonic orchestra, or a, a dance beat, for instance. And one last question regards your uh, activity for soundtracks for films. Um, how does that work? Do you create a soundtrack and then the film is edited on that? Or do you see the editing and then create music? Uh, what kind of rapport have you with the director, in particular with Peter Vine? I mean, that is... Uh, uh, I mean, it's exactly the reverse situation of making a concert. Mm -hmm. I mean, you... Uh, you I mean, for me, I, c I really consider uh, doing a soundtrack, first of all, as an encounter with the director. For instance, when I, I work with Peter Weir for, for, for some soundtracks, uh, I mean, mainly it was, it was the encounter that counted. Uh, and to be involved early enough, because most of the time the soundtrack is very, what's very frustrating for a musician is, you, I mean, you, you receive a phone call three weeks before the release of a, of a film, and you have to do, to, to do the, the music in three weeks, which is obviously uh, ridiculously short. Uh, but I would, I would say that, uh, for the concerts, for instance, like European concerts, I'm exactly in the reverse situation. I'm doing the music and I try to compose the visual track of the music, not the soundtrack of the images. So, uh, and I love, I love this situation where suddenly uh, the, uh, you, you think the visual like you think, it's, you think a soundtrack for the film, but on, on the other way around. And if you could choose one director, who would you want to work with? Uh, I could be uh, a lot. I mean, uh, I, I really uh, love uh, Ridley Scott, <laughs> exactly. Ridley Scott or Coppola uh -huh. or uh, also uh, Stanley Kubrick mm -hmm. or uh, also people like um, uh, uh, the people involved in films like Brazil. Right. Uh, I mean, visual films. Yes, exactly. And that, that for me would be... Uh, uh, a real achievement to be uh, to be able to be involved in those, those kind of films. And one space that you would like to have a, for your concert, like a pyramid in Egypt or a planet? Yes, I'm, I'm, I've, 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 uh, I've uh, been nominated ambassador for UNESCO a month ago, and we have a project for 1995 uh, because it's going to be a, a year of tolerance in 1995, and UNESCO asked me to create five concerts in symbolic places uh, on the planet uh, for, uh, I mean, symbolic link to the idea of tolerance. And uh, the idea of the pyramid, the idea of, for instance, uh, Ayers Rock, the rock in the middle of the Australian desert, or unusual places like this are considered at the moment. And I really would like to, to be able to play in those um, fantastic architecture and fantastic sites. This is the next step after European concert. But in, in European concert already, uh, I, I'm going to go in uh, very unusual places like the Mont Saint-Michel, the tiny island mm -hmm. in, uh, in France, the Chateau de Versailles, the Atomium of Brussels, uh, uh, some uh, uh, unusual place in uh, Central Europe, 
uh, also cricket ground in Manchester, but also Wembley Stadium or the Stadio Flaminio, which is which, which for me is are, are very unusual because it will be I'm going to use the architecture of the stadiums. So for me, unusual place or unusual projects are what excites me. In, uh, instead of uh, following the routine of doing a tour for a year and a half in uh, the same places. So I, I really uh, am very excited by the project in, uh, in Roma. For a long time I wanted to, to, to do something in Italy unusual and spectacular and I think uh, what's going to happen in Roma will be unusual and spectacular, I hope. So I hope that people will join me. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.